Hey guys, Moshe, the Electric Israeli here. So uh, another update came on uh, the other night for me. Uh, it has four things, but three things that apply to my car. Uh, it's the peak uh, power increase, which is going to basically make the car 5% uh, faster, accelerate and perform. Auto steer, uh, stoplight warning, that, I, I don't know about that. It's a, it may warn you if you're going to go through a red line in cer certain circumstances, uh, if you are engaged in auto, in auto steer. But let's see, if it happens, I'll let you know. Navigate an autopilot beta again, so now it, you can set it up that you do not need to give the car permission to change lane. It will do it by itself. You can still, you can still set it up that it does, but you can say no for a um, lane change uh, a confirmation. And you can also set it up to, um, right here it says, with this release, you can also enable navigate an autopilot at the start of each route when the feature is available uh, by by setting enable it to start every trip I, I already done that okay and then summon with key fob i don't have a key fob so it doesn't matter so if you go to the um to the setting i'm sorry not to the music to the setting you go to autopilot then you have autopilot then you can customize it as you see so you go to customization and enable at every uh, trip yes a speed based on lane change I, I do it average require lane change confirmation no I put no and lane change notification I put it for both both vibrate and shine all right so we're gonna test the speed and all that stuff see you on the I see you on the streets okay now we're gonna test the acceleration and later on we'll, we'll test the um, the uh, uh, navigate an autopilot so basically what this does obviously the car I feel the car is extraordinarily lighter than it was uh, so I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'm gonna here we go great here's a here's a red light so I'm gonna show you how incredibly faster this car feels now it used to feel so heavy uh, and now it feels just much much lighter I'm sorry about the glare so it's good I got into a stop sign I mean into a traffic light a red light and off the line it feels exponentially exponentially faster here we go it's just unbelievable I mean listen this is a fast car to begin with it's not like a, a slow car but the responsiveness is just incredible incredible okay so now i'm gonna go up in the hill so i'm gonna purposely uh slow I'm gonna let this car let this car pass me i'm gonna purposely slow down a little bit see like almost no foot on the accelerator and then once you once you smash it what, look at that once you smash it it's like an absolutely rocket rocket I mean again this if you drive this car for the first time you're impressed but you don't have a point of reference so like I said it it, it feels extraordinarily faster and lighter it used to feel heavy now it feels light much lighter so let's slow down again on purpose and smash look at that Oh my God, oh my God. This is really, re it's very impressive, I have to tell you. Okay, so the next test will be, once you put a destination, it should choose a navigate an autopilot. Obviously, if you go, if your destination is a highway, it requires a highway. Uh, so it will, it will uh, choose navigate an autopilot automatically, and then on the highway itself, it should have uh, it should be able to do lane changes by itself. Okay. Thank you guys. See you soon. Okay. Now, uh, the second improvement was after you put uh, the address. So I'm going to put this address where I'm going to go now. And you'll see once it gets you, once it gets you uh, going, once you leave uh, the Navi, see, here we go. The Navigate and Autopilot came on automatically. You don't have to choose it anymore. 
all right so now we are going to go and test the um test the lane changes okay so on the highway as you can see the uh the autopilot likes to prefer the uh, middle lane so it gives you a actual uh, visual warning on the top you see it's about to change lane then it is a little chime and then the wheel is like a little bit shaking because uh, you know just to make to make sure that you are alert that is about to change lane and then it moves on to the middle now you can put the indicator and move to any lane you want and the car will do it for you so basically the whole idea of this update is to really couple shortcuts you don't have to uh, choose the navigate and autopilot it will choose it for you uh, and then it, it will alert you about lane changes and it will put the indicator and will do it for you as well with no we don't no need for you to uh to agree so to speak but you can always always overwrite the uh navigate and autopilot so you can go to the setting and go to the old classic the way you used to if you'd like this is just an add-on, okay? So let's do a little uh, summary and then I will tell you what I think about this whole thing. So you have the, um, <clears throat> the uh, acceleration uh, update. Uh, that's great. The car is faster and feel lighter. You have the uh, traffic light alert. If you are an auto steer and you are about to go in red light, I can't tell you how it would work. But you know it's hard to test. We'll see what happens if if something like this happens. God forbid. I will let you know. And the autopilot, you know, it's basically the same thing that that you have. It's just a couple shortcuts. Now, do I like it? I think it's a little. Uh, it's a little. Um, how my wife called it the other day. It's. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's a chachki. Okay. It's a, like a, a toy. All right. Uh, I personally don't like the autopilot. I love the adaptive cruise control. Uh, I think it's a bit, it's a little bit better than what it was when I bought this car, and it's improving. I don't care for it too much, you know. I think I do a better job on adaptive cruise control, moving lanes and steering the car. But it's nice to have. There is no question about it, nice to have. But all, what I tell you it is, what I tell you it is, uh, Tesla is laying the infrastructure of full self-driving that's what it is so even though it's not uh you know it's not uh doing great and it's not 100 percent and you know i don't feel 100 comfortable about it and all that it's fine i i usually use the uh adaptive cruise control that's okay what i'm what it is it's laying the foundation for the future uh um full self-drive which uh, my car and other cars like these are equipped to have and that will be interesting so that's it i mean it's a nice uh, it's a nice uh, update upgrade and i like it and it's good and it's better than what it what it used to be at the beginning of the autopilot life and things are improving so that's that's it let me know if you use it <clears throat> on your tesla meantime don't forget to subscribe help me change the world one electric car at the time and i'll see you tomorrow guys